Hey guys, Drifter here. The topic of today's commentary is the definition of a tryhard. I made an off-the-cuff comment in the previous episode about talking to YouTubers about why I really, really don't like tryhards, and a lot of people got very frustrated with that, angry even, and said that it's not fair that they can't try to do well in a game and that I can, and I felt that my words were poorly chosen, or perhaps the definition of a tryhard, as I understand it, was not well known in the community. Perhaps it was too simple of a definition, so today I'm going to try to explain to you what I mean when I say tryhard, and we're going to talk about how a tryhard would interact with the rest of the community, and if it's a good or bad thing or not. The gameplay that you're seeing now is me playing League Play. I played five games. We won four, lost the last one. Very, very close lost against a, a good team, and I'm going to be showing you the best parts. I actually managed to get a positive kill-death ratio in all of those games, but there were some campy, boring parts, so I'm just going to trim and show you the good stuff. I played with a full open lobby from Twitter. I run open lobbies and play with subscribers daily, every other day from Twitter. Normally we just go derp around, this one was special, everybody had to rock the DRFT tag, and everybody also had to use very, what would be considered cheap weapons. I don't think the weapons are cheap or particularly overpowered in Black Ops 2 compared to other Call of Duty games, but there are some that uh, the people obviously don't like, Target Finders, FAL Select Fire, PDWs, Bouncing Betties, Shock Charges, that sort of stuff, but it's very common in League Play, and that's what we did. We took our uh, Make Believe Clan and our Try Hard Panty Self and went straight into League Play where all of the most challenging Try Hards play. We played the Team Deathmatch, which is not something I normally play, I'm more, normally more of an objective guy, but it was fun. And uh, I figured if we're going to play, are going to talk about tryhards, you should see gameplay of me being a tryhard on a team of tryhards playing other tryhards so that we can make some sense of this. And I want to try to define the word tryhard, maybe not necessarily just for myself, a little bit to clear up the other video, but also for the community as a whole because I believe there's some confusion about this. The simple definition of the word tryhard is anybody that tries to win a video game, anybody that likes winning, any, if you use a cheap gun, you're a tryhard, if you put forth effort, you're a tryhard, and I don't feel that that's a very accurate definition because about 99% of people try to win every game or if they're not trying to win a game they're trying to get a challenge or they're trying to troll or they're trying to do something if you're not trying to do anything, you're basically just wildlife that we can shoot at. If you didn't want to try to win the game of Call of Duty, you probably would never leave your spawn, and you probably wouldn't even pick up the game to begin with, so let's try to expand the definition of the tryhard to my new proposed definition. And there are four uh, facets or tenets of this, or uh, subcategories. Number one, the tryhard wants to win the game every single time, no matter what. There is no compromise to this, there is no, that was a good game, there is no, um, I would rather complete a challenge. Challenge. There is no I would want to personally challenge myself. I would want to self handicap and the fun in the game is solely from winning for these for this uh, Particular definition of try hard the fun is not that I played a good game that I had fun that I was challenged uh, With people of equal or greater skill It was just that I won that I won that I'm the person that won and you lost this is uh, This is a common thing for Americans. We're very I'm right and you're wrong. I won and you lost but it's also a very difficult problem for the upcoming uh, generations because we call this the entitlement generation. The games get easier, so you win. I mean, the campaign uh, campaigns on video games aren't necessarily challenging anymore as they just kind of walk you through a story and you have to do some things to kind of experience this. And I really don't like that because it makes people very self-entitled that they should always win and the winning is the fun part and not the challenge. And that's the, the bad thing. They don't appreciate the challenge of playing against somebody. It's only about winning. And the means are more important than anything else in the desire to win. If the lobby is unfair, if the team is unbalanced, either with disproportionate number of players or uh, disproportionate skill, that doesn't matter. That just means that they win and get the quick gratification. Using cheap, annoying weapons or tactics, also the same thing tying into the win. They want that win. They want that gratification no matter how many uh, tactical insertions or the PDW or RPGs or whatnot that has to be done. They want to win at any cost, even at the cost of being very annoying or looked down upon by the rest of the community. Those two tie very closely together, number one and two. They all have to do with how much the person wants to win rather than how fun the game is. And number three is that the actions in the game are very mechanical, no mercy, robot-like. I played with people a lot like this more in Halo than I did in Black Ops, but these Halo people would have absolutely perfect grenades, like little bouncing balls that would hit the ground and bounce up in your face and blow up. And they do the same thing here in Black Ops. You have people that never, ever miss. You have people that always throw perfect grenades. That always They're just so... Um, focused and driven 
They never do anything that I would say would be a considered a challenge or something that would be more fun. It's more like a, if you programmed a higher level Call of Duty playing robot or I guess like the bots in uh, offline mode, that would be them. And it's not fun to play against this because they're actually a little bit predictable to tell you the truth. And most importantly, this is what bothers me the most about tryhards because those other things, I view them negatively. People that appreciate the win instead of the challenge, but there are other people that would appreciate the win and not the challenge. And that's kind of moral relativism and I can't really apply that to games because it's not too important of a deal. But the thing that's most important to me is that the vast majority of people that I would classify tr as tryhards in playing against or online, and this is what really makes a tryhard for me, is that they're very poor winners. If you win against this team, there's no good game that comes afterwards. There's no, that's fun, let's party up. It's, you suck, I'm awesome. I'm MLG, you're not. I'm really cool and you're not. They're also very poor losers. They're even worse losers than they are winners. If you're beating a team of tryhards, typically because they don't appreciate anything else other than winning, they're just going to quit the game and leave. And I've talked about this on and on and on for days in the Never Rage Quit series. And I've actually linked the Never Rage Quit video down there to kind of explain this a little bit more. But... If somebody cannot appreciate the loss, if they cannot ap appreciate the challenge of struggling against an equal opponent and all they want is winning, then they're going to be very, very sore losers. And playing against sore losers online is never funny. I never rage quit, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> I don't rage quit out of games, and I think it's very poor class that other people do rage quit out of games. And I believe that these three things are what makes a tryhard. Probably one, two, and four tie together more than number three, but number three is just the easy way to identify them. Again, it's they want to win no matter what. It's it's not the challenge or the fun that matters. They want to win more than they care to be fair. They'll stack the teams, uh, use cheap lobbies, annoying uh, cheap lobbies, unfair uh, lobbies, annoying weapons or tactics to win. Their actions in game are mechanical, robotic, more like they're grinding through the game instead of playing it. And most importantly, they're poor winners and worse losers. It's just not fun to play against this type of person. That being said, I like competitive matches. I like playing competitively. I like being challenged. I also like to win. It feels really, really good to struggle against a team of equal caliber and to just to actually have an uncertainty to not know that you're going to win and to really have to push and stretch your abilities and pull off that win that is very very satisfying anybody that's done any sort of competitive gaming or had a close match it, it could even be a board game you know that feeling it's a very satisfying feeling but you also need to be comfortable with losing if I played very very well I know that my abilities were tested they were stretched so much that if it were any other team any other day I totally would have clobbered them but the people that I'm playing against are so incredibly good that they beat me anyway they deserve that win and I'm okay with losing that because for me the challenge is more important than the win and it, you'll see at the end of this game I lose this game but it was a fun game it was very challenging against this other team and using cheap guns isn't necessarily the biggest deal that doesn't bother me too much black ops doesn't have that many cheap weapons it can get a little bit annoying in other games but it's not such a big deal here but it's the bad attitudes that really really burn my bacon I really don't like winning a game or losing a game and having my gender, race, or sexuality questioned in any, way, in any way or told that I'm worthless or unfortunately because I'm on YouTube now, somebody will beat me and be like, ooh, put that on YouTube or ooh, I should do what you do or ooh, I suck, get me a capture card, I'm going to put you out of business and uh, little things like that really just... Uh, frustrate me, especially because with in-depth, sometimes I'm running around with a 5.7 and you run into people like this. Very frustrating. Uh, the people that beat us here were very, very good sports. This was an ideal kind of team to play with. They did try very hard. They were mechanical. They wanted to win. They didn't care about anything else. They used cheap weapons, cheap tactics. They also did teamwork, callouts, everything. And this game came down to the wire. We started mounting a slight comeback at the end, but they pushed through the middle, rolled over some people, and got flash bang to stun. They all died. But overall, I think it was an excellent game. I had fun playing with these people. I had fun uh, working out tactics, changing my gameplay and my guns and everything with my teammates to accommodate. And they were good sports. When they were done, the first thing they did is like, hey, blah, blah, you're the drifter from YouTube, right? Or actually, I think they already looked it up. And instead of uh, calling me any manner of insults, they're like, hey man, you want to put that on YouTube? That was a really good game. And I think that was really cool. And I told them, yeah, that actually was a good game and I am going to put it on YouTube and you will see yourself in a day or two on there. And I think that's what separates people that try hard to win, uh, to win and have fun, and people that try hard to win for like the instant gratification of winning is the attitude. It's all about the attitude. Have a good attitude. Try hard to win. You know, challenge yourself, stress yourself, enjoy it. 
But if that doesn't happen, you don't have to be a sourpuss about it. You can just chillax and play again. Well, guys, that's all for this commentary. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something useful about what I mean when I say try hard. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.